Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Mick and I play Pokemon. Today we are going to go over the competitive play trailer for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, which released at the 2022 World Championships today. Um, unfortunately, I was asleep when it came on. Uh, I live pretty far away and the hour difference made it so I was not up in time. So I'm going to react to it now and let's see what we got. Also, I know that they revealed stuff for the Scarlet and Violet TCG. I'm going to go over that too. Uh, right after we get done with the uh, initial trailer here. Alright, so let's get right into it. Alright. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. New additions bring more excitement to Pokemon battles. Alright. Juliana and Florian. Alright, cool, look. So that's... That's the main characters. And that's a new Pokemon. Alright. Uh, Cyclozer. Dragon Normal type. New move, Shed Tail. Wow, this is going really quick. Create a substitute and swap places with a party of Pokemon in waiting. So it's substitute and baton pass at the same time. That's kind of wild. And zoom real using belly drum. New item, Mirror Herb. Copies and opponent's stat increased when consumed. So he gets the max attack for free. That's kind of busted if Satitan's an attack type Pokemon. So we got Colossal Terrestrializing into a water type to take this Hydro Pump from Rotom Wash. It's not very effective, but it does trigger the Steam Engine. It's awesome. Breloom's back and looking fabulous with that flower on his head. New item, Loaded Dice. Makes multi-strike attacks more likely to hit more times. Alright. So it's kind of like Skill Link, only not guaranteed. Was Skill Link guaranteed? I don't remember. Gallade and Tyranitar. Tyranitar turning into a ghost type with the ghost from Lavender Town in the old red and blue games appearing on top of his head. He's no longer affected by close combat. And new move, Terra Blast. Changes type when the user has terrestrialized. Perhaps this is the, uh, the new version of Hidden Power. Which kind of makes sense if you think about it. Maybe Special Pikachu knows Fly and it's the Flying Terra type. Let's go over that one more time. Just this, because it was moving real quick, I didn't get to catch everything. So, we got this beginning. The gears, what is that about? Maybe it has something to do with the um, him riding. Cloister's back. He looks so cool. It looks a lot like one of the uh, Ben 10 aliens. I, I don't remember its name, but it was blue and it went fast. Shed Tail is going to be crazy in competitive battles. If he's got, you know, some good stat boosting moves. I don't know how often this mirror herb item is going to get used, but it's pretty cool nonetheless. I'm not super thrilled that Rotom's back, but I'm not disappointed either. Colossal's pretty cool. And changing the types to counteract your weaknesses is going to add a whole new level to these, uh, these battles. Brelum looks so good like this. Uh, this this whole terrestrialized thing looks so good. Also, I don't know how how often this loaded dice is going to come up if uh, if it only affects multi-strike moves. And the ones that I'm familiar with don't seem to be really all that good. But maybe there's some new ones that will be really good. And that ghost, man, that ghost looks so good. Wow. Came a long way from Lavender Town, that's for sure. I wonder if they're going to tie in the why we call it Hidden Power, but Paldea calls it Terrible Blast. Kind of cool to see the Pikachu. Um, we get has the uh, balloons on his head. So let's see. I'm going to close out of this one and tab over to the TCG one real quick. Alright, let's check out the uh, Pokemon Scarlet TCG. Alright, same old card back we're used to. Already can tell these are going to be beautiful artworks. Look at that. Are, are they full art cards? Looks so smooth. Okay, so they're, no, they're not full arts. Mimikyu's back. No surprises there. Same with Lucario. 
Magnazone. Oh, they got like a really cool foil to them. Maybe to like uh, resemble the terrestrialized phenomenon. What is this? E are we going back to EX? We are going back to EX. All right. Cool. Karide on EX, Miride on EX. Wow, those are cool looking. Man. That just makes me love Karidon even more. Alright, so this is obviously has something to do with terrestrializing. Ooh, okay, so terrestrializing is going to be an EX thing. I wonder how that's going to work out. I'm going to go one back, one more time through this here. Man, Karidon looks so good. Miridon looks good too, but. Just something about Karidon really sticks to me. These animations are super smooth. I'm actually going to pause when they reveal the uh, card text and take a look at them. Alright, so stage 1, stage 2, and basic. So EX can be anything then. So this is where they revealed the EX thing again. pretty cool there we go let's pause it here Karidon EX it oh okay it doesn't show a type on either one maybe that's uh, maybe that's on purpose because they haven't really told us what the types are for them yet but it also could have something to do with the terrestrializing once per turn you can put or you may attach up to two basic looks like it's emitted their energies cards from your discard pile to your basic yeah it is definitely emitted Pokemon anyway like you if you use this ability your turn ends and wild impact doesn't show an energy cost here um, probably because it's the, they don't want to reveal the type of the Pokemon a wild impact 220 damage during your next turn this Pokemon can't attack all right tandem unit once per turn, you may search your deck for up to two basic blank Pokemon and put them onto your bench, then shuffle your deck. And Photon Blaster, same 220. During your next turn, this Pokemon can't attack. Okay. EX rule. When your Pokemon EX is knocked out, your opponent takes two prize cards. Alright. No weak no known weaknesses, resistance, or retreat costs. Alright, look at that shiny. Look at that color. That is awesome those are gonna be some really good looking cards for sure 2023 that's gonna be great well guys uh, that's actually gonna cover it for today thank you guys so much for coming out and thank you for checking out the video if you like what you saw here please consider liking and subscribing it would greatly help me out and there's gonna be plenty more of this content when uh, when it comes you know when it comes available uh, I also have more pack openings coming uh, especially a special one coming very soon and uh, so yeah if you guys like what you see hit a like hit a subscribe maybe even hit the notification bar if you're feeling it antsy I'll check you out here next time thank you so much for coming by have a good one take care bye bye